and we're back. Yeah. Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on our thumbnail. Welcome back to our little roll channel called the Troll. Yeah, it's Roll with the Troll and the Voice of Reason. Voice That's of Reason's me. here. Tell them about yourself. I'm roll or I'm roll with the you troll. Roll, okay, she doesn't even know her name. All right. Voice of Reason's here too. She's gonna make a little bit more sense than I probably will. So listen, we're talking about the final fights of Cobra Kai season five, right on the heels of our episode 10 discussion. Yeah, yeah. So here we're gonna break down the fights in particular. I gotta tell you, let me show you this comment that we got from Philomena yesterday in our last video. Uh, Voice of Reason, did you see this comment from Philomena yesterday? Well, yes, I did, because yeah. I did respond to it. Aha, but we both did, okay. So this was, I thought, a really interesting comment because yeah. it, it's funny when, when sometimes people think they're disagreeing and they're really not. Right. And I, so I want to get into this because I thought it was just good fodder for conversation about this final fight of the entire season with John, with uh, Daniel and, and Silver. Yeah. All right. So check it out. So Philomena said, disappointed in your assessment of Daniel and Silver. Completely missed the point when you are usually spot on. Well, we are usually spot on. Yeah. But I don't know that we missed the point. Uh, then she says, Terry Silver has been Daniel's abuser, tormentor his nightmare, and to see him finally have the focus and the courage to stand up to him was glorious. Yeah, I think Terry Silver, it was good to see Terry Silver finally have the courage to stand up to Daniel after all that Daniel's <laughs> done to him, right? I don't think that's what, yeah, that's not what we're talking about. Huh? 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 All right. So then you say, there you add combining various styles, the Karate Kid Part 3 Miyagi versus Silver likeness culminating in using Silver's own Quicksilver method against him. Yeah, that was great. That was great, of course. The crane kick was the cherry on the top. I agree, right? Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. That was phenomenal. That, that, that it was done. And you'll see oh, where I'm going with this in a second. Line. This was supposed to be about Daniel taking back control from Terry Silver. That's what made it glorious. That's what made it satisfying. Yeah, I agree with all that, except we're, we're leaving out something. <laughs> You're leaving out a very, very big point here. Uh, let me take you back to the Rocky films for a second. Because I don't think you can talk Cobra Kai without eventually talking about Rocky. They're very intertwined. They're very intertwined. They always have been. The, Ro the Rocky fights, if you list on a, a comment like this, all the things, like, you know, then, then Rocky cuts Drago, then there's blood, and then Drago says, you're dead. And if you list everything out like this, it sounds great. The difference, just like you did here, you listed out a lot of really great points, and this is what made the fight good. But in Rocky... And in some Cobra Kai, in some Karate Kid, not all, the fight has to feel, it does often feel visceral and real and emotive. In those Rocky fights, especially Rocky 3 and 4, I think, that you hear the impact and the, the way it's shot and the camera angles. Right, right, voice of reason. You, you feel a visceral reaction to what's taking place. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And in some Cobra Kai fights and Karate Kid fights, you you do feel that I think, and we're all different. But I think some of them I really feel like, whoa, that's that's an emotive fight. I thought actually when Daniel fought Crease in season three, even though it was really short there too. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I don't think they can get Machio to do good fight scenes, so they just keep it short. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that one was a lot more visceral when he when Daniel showed up and he goes, "You sent those fucking kids to my house." And then, like, he and Kreese mix it up for a minute, and then Kreese takes him through the fucking glass wall, if I remember right. doesn't take yeah, him through glass, yeah. right? And they go down and everything. That was more visceral to me. I, I, that felt more real. It looked a little bit more real. Mm -hmm. This one had such editing. So it's not the point of the things you're mentioning here. Like, you're, you're saying, like, we missed the point because we don't notice these things. No, no, no. I agree <laughs> with what you're saying, that it was his tormentor, and the way Daniel used it against him was great and all that. That's great. But this fight did not look real. The editing was so bad on this fight that, like, you know what comes to mind in particular is when Terry is on the ground and you see him make a fist and then he, he reaches up to try to punch Daniel. Yeah. And then Daniel catches the fist between his own leg and his arm. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, because Silver was about to do the... Uh... The chest thing. Yeah. Whatever that's called. I can't remember. Yeah. It was some kind of vicious, like, Mortal Kombat punch to the death. Yeah. Right? And so Daniel stopped him. But, like, that should have been glorious. It should have looked good. And it didn't. Instead, it just looked like choppy editing. So, look, I love the fight. I'm, like, I'm glad the fight happened. But could it have been done better? Could they have put a little more time in and maybe pulled it off a little bit better? Yeah. Don't you think, Voice of Reason? Sure. You know, it didn't look as good. And I want a, a Rocky three or Rocky four style. That's where the Rocky movies really went you know, right way. He, Stallone, always made sure, and the other directors too, they always make sure that final fight you really feel in your gut. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And again, in this franchise, from Karate Kid to Cobra Kai, 
sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's kind of a crapshoot. I, I don't think you ever really. Uh... Yeah, I've always felt this is true, like every season. So it's not it's not anything unique. But there are certain fights in Cobra Kai that I feel like I really see the choreography. Yeah. And when it's really done well, it it, it doesn't seem choreographed at all. And that it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. So that's all. The choreography here could have been a lot better. It was it was pretty clear the way they they were doing all the things you're, you're talking about here. The crane kick and the cherry on top. Yeah, yeah that, that I love that. The yeah. storytelling part of this fight, right, is perfection. Right. But the the execution is not the overall execution. I'll tell you what I what I liked. I don't think we talked about this in yesterday's video, but the way Silver. When he ends up up against the wall after Daniel, you know, got him against the wall, yeah, yeah. and then he grabs the trophy, yeah, to try to hit Daniel with. So I love that because that was the true, the very trophy <laughs> that he cheated to get. Oh yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think isn't that? I'm pretty sure. And yeah. so I just love Where that Tori put her trophy when she came back to yeah, the Yeah, I'm okay. almost positive. So yeah. I just love that he ended up using the ver that that trophy is a symbol. To me, and to anybody, I think, of, of Terry's cheating and his manipulation. No gotten game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what the son of a bitch reaches for to hit Daniel with. And then Daniel doesn't even go for that. He still kicks Terry back into the wall. And then, to me, that whole scene feels a lot like when Terry got his ass beat by Miyagi in Karate Kid 3, doesn't it? Like, oh, to the yeah. paint. It's it's different. You got the broken right, glass yeah. instead of paint. But it's, it's similar enough where I'm like, oh, that's yeah. kind of a... A callback, the, isn't it? The humiliating blow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it, it was. Yeah, exactly. It was embarrassing. You always, you're so good with your your, your explanations. Thank you. It was so embarrassing that like it wasn't just an ass beating. It was like there's 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 carnal damage all over the place. <laughs> it's yeah. just everything's just a fucking mess. Uh, I'll tell you what else I could have used. Remember how in that fight in Karate Kid Three, when uh, when Miyagi you know throws him in there, and the Miyagi goes ha. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How about Making if Daniel fun. had done that to him? That would have been kind of fun. If I mean, uh, you need you need Silver to do it first. Yeah, no. But that would have been kind of no. But all right, uh, then how about this? How about when Silver's on the ground and the kids start throwing their shirt, their Cobra Kai shirts down at him? Uh huh. Would it have been cool if Terry? Because Terry was silent in this. Would it have been cool if he just muttered a few things while the kids were throwing their shirts at him, like just to add to the the drama of it all? If there was some trash talking, like if Terry's on the ground going, fuck you, LaRusso, just something like that. So just him muttering something, huh. some kind of hate. And then Daniel, too, also having something to say. I would have liked if there still had some words back and forth while he was on the ground. Oh, no, I disagree. Ah. I disagree with that. I, I think that the whole thing, silent at the end on everybody's part, that was perfection also. That was perfect. It, there were no words. There's no words. It didn't need any words. I always have words. I know. This <laughs> I would have loved for Daniel to just be like, you motherfucker. No. You did this and you tormented me as a teenager. No. And now these teenagers, it could have been poetic. No, no sometimes. I don't mean just angry. I make it poetic. Yeah, but the silence tells the story sometimes too. And this was appropriate. <sighs> I, I could have gone for a little bit more. I could have gone for Terry still hatching some kind of plans. By the yeah. way, what happens to Terry now? Do you think he goes back to being called Terrence? <laughs> like in the beginning of season four, and he gets back with what was that broad's name that he was banging? I don't remember. Yeah, me neither. He was with a girl who was really lame, right? She was like Terrence. We're just on the journey. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if he gets back together with her? We see him in like a coffee shop with her in a little bit. Yeah, dying a, a very slow death. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So anyway, that's our that's our two cents, right? That's that's. Uh, I, I often think that when you just list something out, and people do this a lot on YouTube. When you just list out all the bullet points and you're like, it was cool because of this, 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 this. I feel like, right, but it, it's got to look cool. You know, uh -huh. that's, it, you can't, you can't just list it all out. I mean, it's, do I, did I feel in my bones that this was actually happening in the way that it needed to be happening? You know, so yeah. anyway, there were so many other good final fights though. Yeah. How about Kyler? A character I, I think most people just kind of skim right over and don't think about. I, I think about that motherfucker. Yeah. How about his final fight in, in the mm. way it related to all the other kids in this last episode? Yeah. I was interested here because, remember, the, the whole show, season one, started about Kyler versus Miguel and also versus Sam, in a way, right? With the They were dating and then shit didn't work out. Not so much fighting, but... 
You know, she pulled some karate on him on that date. Remember that? Yeah. He took his dick out in the movie theater. <laughs> he tried. Yeah, and then and she uh, she pulled some karate on him then. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you know I never thought about that when Kyler started karate. I always thought it was just solely because Miguel and everybody whipped his well Miguel alone whipped his ass and everyone yeah. else's ass in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. I never stopped to think actually Sam pulled a little karate on him too. Yeah, he figured he better get crack a lack in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, when Chris went to find him when he was doing his wrestling, you know, Kyler's probably like, yeah, I have been getting my ass whooped a lot yeah. by people who know karate. So I think you're right. We better learn this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I really thought it would have been interesting if we had at least had a scene. Maybe we did. I didn't even see it, but kind of a, something of a scene between Kyler in the big final fight at the end here uh -huh. in, in episode 10 between Kyler and maybe Sam, or they, they at least exchanged some, some words back and forth. Yeah. I don't to... think there was really, there wasn't really anything. No, I don't think so either. I mean, they, they faced off when, you know, when the two groups met up in the dojo, yeah. when, when the Cobra Kai's arrived, uh -huh. but I, I don't think they directly interacted with each other. No. To my recollection, but, but Dimitri getting in a, a Good punch and a kick or whatever it was. Well, that was the greatest. That yeah, when, when Hawk when Hawk said exactly what I said in one of our last video, one of our videos. Remember when mm. in the in season four, I think I said something like, "Where does Kyler get the balls to still think he's a badass?" Right. The guys he's bullied have not just beaten him in a fight; they've humiliated yeah. him. Yeah, he loses a lot all the time. And yeah. he's, he still thought that he was the king cobra. Yeah, no, he's. I'm the king cobra around here. What does that say about cobra? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you lose all the time, dude. Yeah. We haven't seen him win. So then, when uh, I love that Hawk said exactly what I was saying before, when Hawk, yeah, Hawk goes, he's like, everybody you ever bullied has kicked your ass by now. And then Dimitri points out, well, I haven't. I haven't. And Hawk, Hawk just Don't says, worry. Don't worry, you'll get your turn. And he did. He got his turn almost immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was very satisfying on a, a very emotional level. That was good. Let's get back to Kyler in a second. I want to point something out real quick. Uh -huh. This is the only show. And, and again, going back to the point of if you list the bullet points, like on paper or in a comment about what you want to see or what you liked, let me just point this out. This is the only show ever that could pull off a story where three nerdy kids who can't fight are getting picked on at school and they're they're eyeing the hot girls, but the hot girls are with the bullies. And then within a few seasons, these kids learn karate, beat up the bullies, and each end up with one of the hot girls they were pining after. Yeah. Normally, wouldn't you just go, dude, that's never going to work. That is way too Disney. It's way yeah. too over the top. It's Very too... fantastical. Yeah, if you just list those bullet points, it's laughable. It's like, come on, that that's just, no audience is going to buy that. It's it's just not realistic. Mm -hmm. But this show did it. They yeah. And they made me buy it. Like, Do you even think about it in those terms, really? No, not anymore. And I think it comes down to the character development. Yeah. You know, over the course of the last five seasons, they've really developed these characters. They've allowed them to breathe and grow and, you know, become. And the way it all went down in that regard, too, it, it's slow over time. So I do buy into it. I, I do yeah. like I, the way Hawk ended up getting Moon. I buy it. Yeah. Dimitri and what's her name? Not so much. We didn't see her this season, but that yeah. one I have a harder time with. Yeah. But it, the point is, I mean, look, Miguel made a fucking mockery out of those kids. Miguel beat all of them up and then stood up on top of the fucking table like, <laughs> like, like Braveheart. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was waiting for him to give the speech. Yeah. He should have. Oh, my God. He should have. That should be a deleted scene somewhere where Miguel <laughs> gives the speech from Braveheart. Wouldn't that be awesome? It'd be fun. <laughs> It'd be so, he's like, they can take our lunch, but they will <laughs> never take our freedom. Yeah. yeah that would have been great. Anyway. Anyway, so let's get back to Kyler real quick because we're almost yeah. out of time. Uh, Kyler, we talked about that he didn't really face off with Sam. There was no trash talking, no words. You know, she could have just said something to him real quick. Like, you're the, you've are the, you always been an asshole, blah, blah, blah. That would have kind of, for me as an audience member, reminded me like, oh, yeah, that's right. These guys, they have history. But also, I don't think Miguel really fought Kyler this time. No, yeah. Even right. in, in all that, with all the times no. they fought. I don't think they fought here. By the way, guys, if you're liking this video, click like, subscribe, and click the bells. Yes. We're almost out of time, but I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and comment. Please don't forget to comment. But yeah, final thought. So with all the enemies Kyler's had, 
it, it's interesting that we didn't really see him with some of them. I mean, he, I don't know. There's just, there seems like there were more opportunities. Well, they can't squeeze in every, every not everything, but a couple movie. extra fucking seconds here and there would have been nice because there's so much history that I don't like to go. Oh shit. I forgot all about yeah. that. You know, anyway, guys, whatever. Let us know in the comments, what you thought of some of the final fights in Cobra Kai season five. Let us know what topics you want us to cover about Cobra Kai or anything else. Voice of reason. Any thoughts? Like button, please. Yeah. Please support the channel guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.